Hey guys, um, today, um, I'm going to be teaching you something you've probably seen me do in, uh, the first couple of my tricks. Um, you guys may have seen me do something like this, like that, or definitely seen me do this one, uh, that. Well, these are, um... These are called false cuts, and uh, they're kind of basically what they sound like. Um, it looks like I'm cutting up the deck, but really, I didn't change a single card. So, I'm going to teach you guys the very first false cut I ever learned, which uh, looks like this. Just like that. So, it's it's pretty easy. Um, there are easier ones out there, um, but it, this one kind of makes it look like, you know, you know what you're doing with the pack of cards. Um, so, let's, uh, let's, let's learn it. So, the first thing that we're gonna need, need to know is what's called a swing cut. So, swing cut is where you're holding it in biddle grip, which is, uh, three fingers on the top, uh, doesn't really matter where your pinky is, and your thumb on the bottom. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna break off a packet of cards with your index finger, uh, probably about a third or a fourth, maybe, of the cards, um, for this cut. Um, and you want to just kind of pivot it to the side with your index finger. This could take some practice. It could feel a little uncomfortable at first, but uh, it should get easier as you keep practicing with cards. Um, and yeah, so um, so the first thing you want to do is break this off, and then you want to come over with your left hand, or if you're holding it in biddle grip with your left hand, you want to come over with your right hand. But uh, I feel more comfortable um, with the left hand. Uh, so, then, you when you swing it over, you want to grab it with your uh, left hand and hold it, gosh, and hold it in dealer's grip, um, which looks like this. And then you want to break off another packet, which is probably about half. And uh, you want to push in, um, this might be a little hard to see on camera, but you want to push this bottom packet in to the to your the fleshy part of your thumb. So, if I were to move this packet, it should look like a little something like this. Like, there's like a triangle here, a triangle here, and another triangle here, and uh, kind of like that. So, you're holding it like this, you're, you're, this top packet's kind of blocking the, the, the view, though. And you're going to, with your middle finger and the rest of your thumb, you're going to slide out the, this bottom packet here, just like that. And now you're left with, the, with this packet. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pivot this top card around your index finger onto that top packet and throw this packet on top. And I just did the false cut. So you guys can, uh, I'll show you guys this false cut too. I'll show you the top card, which is the three diamonds, and the bottom card, which is the eight of diamonds. So if you perform this cut correctly, um, the three diamonds is still on top, and the eight of diamonds is still on the bottom. But um, So this is a pretty easy, but it still looks pretty good kind of false cut. Um, in, other, in later videos, I'll teach cuts like this. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite cuts. I do this one a lot. <laughs> or the or this one. Oops. Okay, let me try, let me show that. Let me let me show that. Ah, sorry. Guess not enough camera room. But uh, yeah. Um, so just keep practicing this cut, and uh, it should it should come pretty easily. Uh, after a while, it may look a little sloppy at first, but it gets easier as you keep doing it. I haven't done this cut in a while though. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, just keep practicing it guys. And uh, actually I'll have another video out later today um, of a card trick um, in case you guys were wondering because uh, uh, I like to I like to post card tricks and stuff not just tutorials for things. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna be it for today guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.